Hi everyone, this is Eddie from Beeline. Today we're gonna go ahead and learn what you need to watch out for when you go out shopping in Korea. Now, let's go ahead and learn those phrases or those words that you need to watch out for or you need to find when you go out shopping in Korea. But to begin with, let's go ahead and learn how to say shopping in Korean. Shopping in Korean, not surprisingly, is shopping. Show. Ping. Now, this shopping that we're going to go ahead and talk about today is um, not just regular shoppings, but also including anything you actually go out for, or any, uh, what you will go out and buy, whether if it's a clothing or shoes or makeup, or whether if it's groceries. Now, grocery shopping is kind of different. Now, I told you that shopping in Korean is shopping, shopping, right? But um, grocery shopping is actually usually what we call 장 보러 가다. 장 보러 가다. That's grocery shopping. So when you ever hear uh, your Korean friend or uh, your Korean co-worker says, Oh, I need to go 장 보러 가. That means uh, that this person is going to go for grocery shopping. Not just like your regular fashion shopping, but actually to buy something to eat and maintain their, their life expectancy. <laughs> um, so now, in Korea, there's a lot of, lot of words that we use to promote the product and promote uh, the, um, the promotions that we have. So what you want to go ahead and look out for all those shoppers is Pagen Sale. Pa Gen Sale. Now, Pagen Sale is actually an English word that we, have, we pronounce in the Korean way. Can you guess what it is? Some of you may have got it right. Bargain sale is basically bargain sale. Bargain and sale. So basically we use the same kind of a word together to go ahead and promote that we, oh, we're having a huge sale. Now this bargain sale is usually happening in a large big department stores like uh, Pekpajom. Pekpajom is a um, department store or a uh, big mart, Matsu. Now, Mate is basically uh, as a grocery uh, joint. Uh, in, in Canada, if you compare it with Canada, it will be something like um, Superstore or like, like a Walmart, Walmart kind of thing. Like we call it Mate. Now, if they ever have a sale, they're gonna go in and have a huge uh, uh, billboard saying Pagen Sale. Now, what you wanna also go ahead and uh, look out for is the word Hain. Harin. That's how you say it in a smooth way, but it's Harin. Now, Harin is basically mean discounted. So you'll be finding a lot of discounted product from, uh, it probably has an original price on it and it has X and lower price on it below. Um, Harin is also very well used, wide used in department stores, clothing stores, or any stores that you buy, including like grocery stores. Now make sure to go in. So now we have two things, right? We have uh, you want to go and look out for pagen sale, and you want to look out for harin. Now there's also a very Korean thing that we like to do is uh, one plus one, or one plus two, or ten plus five. So now you're gonna go in and see a lot of like number plus numbers, numbers, number plus numbers. Uh, this is these are basically uh, buy one get one free, or buy one get two free buy 10 get 5 free those things you will see a lot of them in uh, grocery stores actually when you um, buy like vegetables or ramen or any like maybe even like snacks uh, those things that actually go ha we have a lot of one plus ones one plus twos uh, those five like 10 plus fives you will usually see those uh, in the cosmetic stores when you want to go buy uh, facial masks so they usually come in a packs of 10 and they give five more. Sometimes if you go in the right time, they give a 10 plus 10, which means you only pay for 10 of them and you go home with 20. Which is pretty nice, isn't it? Now, we have learned three basic words or three important words when it comes to shopping that you want to watch out for in Korea. Yes, 파겐 세일, 할인, and those 1 plus 1 or 1 plus 2 or 10 plus 10 or 10 plus 5 whatever free uh, things they want to give out. Now also you're gonna go ahead and see these uh, 
word, the phrase that I'm gonna teach you next, associated with um, sales or like a huge sales amount. We're talking about seventy percent sales, like ninety percent sale. Uh, well, they usually put out is 사장님이 미쳤어요. 사장님이 미쳤어요. Now, 사장님 means the owner, like the boss. Whether if it's a CEO, whether if it's like you know the owner of the store, then 미쳤어요 means crazy. So basically, uh, they want to go ahead and give an impression that the owner went crazy, or the owner went mad because we're having a blowout sale, which is like we're giving out 70% to 90%. Uh, discounted prices from original price. So make sure to go and look out for that. This phrase again, 사장님이 미쳤어요. So that you know that store is having a huge blowout sale. Thank you so much for watching our video today. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and press the like button and also don't forget to press the subscribe button to see just more like it. If you have any specific phrase or word you want to learn in Korean, let us know in the comment section below. That is all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye. Annyeong.